Hello, friends. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Christian. Yes. That's Nate. Yep. Over That's that me. away. Yep. <sighs> Guys, it's early, but we're gonna do this. <laughs> well, early for me. We're doing. Yeah. A, we're trying something new. We're doing an early morning recording session. So it is around about 6.30 in the a.m. on the east coast of the U.S. here, so. Two months ago, I gave Hawk an ultimatum. Do something about his drinking or find somewhere else to live. He left. I don't even know where he is. Somewhere in New York. Mr. Laughlin. Call me Tim. Mr. Laughlin, I can't mm -hmm. worry about Hawk. I have mm. a pregnant daughter and soon a grandchild to care for. Um... He's calling to give condolences. I, I think I missed what happened. Condolences. Um, for his, I, I was just assuming it's for her father's uh, death. But wasn't that? Yeah, ten years ago, more. Right. Yeah, it seemed like it was a while ago, right? Well, so he did say it's late. So. Yeah, maybe that's real late. <laughs> <laughs> so, so they. They haven't talked since then. So it's either that or something that we'll find out. It might be her son. Because the last thing that uh, we saw in the episode was her son. Uh, they do tend to do that. That makes sense. Yeah. Yes, yes. So yeah, it's something they haven't told. Okay, I was like, because right. I was watching, I was like, I, I felt like I was watching, but mm -hmm. did I blink and miss something? <laughs> that, yeah. like, I, don't, I don't know. It's kind of weird. But um, yeah. yeah, this dynamic is interesting between the two of them what is interesting though is hawk he is kicked out of his house for his drinking right so you, you don't think he's a drinking problem i think he has a drinking I'm, I'm, problem okay. but i think it developed you don't think he had the drinking alcohol problem you think <laughs> <laughs> i think he does have a drink <laughs> I think he has a drinking alcohol problem, but I think it stems from. Got it. You know, things yeah, I mean, that he should have taken care of beforehand. Yeah, he's out there living his worst life or whatever yeah. he's doing. Just yeah, uh... it's clearly not doing going good for him because if he's over here writing Tim. Yeah, I need you. I, I, yeah, I, that that to me just feels so manipulative. I just I, mm -hmm. I really don't like that kind of thing oh it's know? definitely like, manipulative I, I i hate it so much i'm like yeah um what's <laughs> interesting <laughs> what's interesting is i don't know how she really feels about marriage right so i didn't see the show so i don't know how she really feels about marriage but it's not really marriage that's the issue for me um it's really about the lie that you're allowing yourself to tell yourself and the lie that you're allowing to be perpetrated to other people, you know? Mm -hmm. And so, and for me, that is the biggest issue because um, I definitely understand the need to cover yourself up for, to protect yourself, you know, cause you don't, you know, you want to live your life and you want to be able to be an astronaut, for example. Uh, and the question is, is being an astronaut more important than your, what they would call integrity, but like, you know, lying to other people. Some people would be like, no, I definitely would lie to save my hide. And some people are like, I will not lie, you know, to save my, it's really like a personal thing. So yeah, um, I'm wondering how the, the, the one who put that ultimatum how she would actually handle a similar situation, um, for, you know, for something that she really wanted and, and that she had to kind of, you know, like our history, American history is, is just littered with people having to kind of bow down, I suppose, in order to achieve the things that they want to. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think, yeah. Yeah. I think of even just the back of the day, like, you know, like black people passing as white, right. And, mm -hmm. and people would, would judge them but in part because you couldn't right <laughs> right so like like if you could mm -hmm. pass would you right, right. Yeah. and a lot of people wouldn't but a lot of people i bet you would mm -hmm. yeah. it would be so much easier mm -hmm. you, you know what i mean like yeah. like like yeah i i don't think it's the best thing to do and the right thing to do but mm -hmm. i can only judge so far because mm -hmm. I'm not in the situation myself, right? Yeah. Like it's it's easy to say what you would or wouldn't do until you're actually in it. 
Yeah. And then you actually know. It's definitely better, uh, easier said than done. But like, uh, it just made me think of, you know, that, you know, you know, the story of the, 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 what did they call it? The three Hebrew boys, the three Hebrew boys, you know, mm-hmm. and how they didn't conform regardless, even if it cost them their life, you know? Right. So, um, I'm wondering if what we have been doing for so long is actually, you know, been actually a travesty, you know, uh, you know, yeah, your life is at stake, but I guess that also depends on how you view life. But if you view life as in, as like, I'll have another life afterwards, you know, um, if your life is at stake, do you view, view being honest, more important, honest with yourself, you know, more important than, you know, survival? Yeah. I mean, I, I think self-honesty is the most important piece. So yeah. don't lie to yourself mm-hmm. right yeah. now. If you have to lie outwardly, that's another difficult thing, you know, but like, mm-hmm. I think if you, you, you have to at least be able to be honest with yourself. Yeah. Right. Like in this situation, you know, with, with, with this couple I was talking about, it's not like she was like, oh, I don't like you. Like, I'm, mm-hmm. like, I'm yeah. not gay. Like, she's like, I am. I'm yeah. just, for the sake of this thing, concealing because the world isn't ready just yet. Right. Um, I feel like it's going to change pretty soon mm-hmm. in the show. Um, yeah. But at, at that point, like, the world wasn't ready. Um, but it was so sad because she was talking to someone. Um, they were in space, and he was actually dying. And so mm-hmm. since he was dying, she figured she would go ahead and just tell him. Mm-hmm. And he had a reaction I did not expect at all. He was like... I think everyone has their reason behind it. I don't, I think I would say I disagree with lying. Um, but I also have the saying, like, if you want me to lie to you, I will lie to you, you know, because I'm not going to sit there and argue with you about the truth. You know, like if you just, if you can't handle the truth and you need a lie to get by through your day, like far be it for me to force that upon you, you know, just like, okay believe a lie (laughs) like i'm not i'm not here to try to make you feel you know any type of way but if it comes to like having to lie for um like like who i am and like you know like before i used to lie about being gay you know because people would ask me about you know being married or if i plan on getting married to a woman or whatever i had play the game like in job interviews and stuff but i don't do that anymore um because i don't i'm not gonna lie to you (laughs) i like to make you feel comfortable about that no 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 um but you can lie to yourself if you think that that's best to you know get around the truth i don't care but yeah i um i don't know it is kind of a mixed (laughs) emotion about that so viva la gay revolution (laughs) what is for dessert, my love. Twinkies. <laughs> and then we're gonna go out. Kill some homosexuals. Wow. Jackson died about six months ago. Oh yeah, there mm. you go. Heroin overdose. Good call. Oh. Ooh. You didn't know. Imagine serving your country as a soldier, a firefighter, a police officer, and watching your hometown get taken over by hippies and queers. Adam. What? That's where we'll leave it off. I mean, this guy has always been running away from Marcus. He's always been running away from, like, I don't want to say the first word that comes to mind is responsibility, but I guess it's not really his responsibility. But at the same time, he's not, he's over here talking about he's a journalist, but he just doesn't say anything. Like, do you feel like he feels like shut up or does he. I mean, because, you know, he was trying to write from the black experience, you know, one of the black experiences or whatever, but he's not saying anything. So, like, yeah, he's he has seemingly mostly no problem fighting for his blackness. Yeah, well, because he can't hide it. Right. Right. But his queerness, he is not really about fighting in that way. Right. Like that to him seems like, okay, this is personal. And maybe you're right because he's black, right? You can't hide that. And so yeah. he's like, well, this I have to fight, right? The other yeah. thing, like 
it could just be, you know, I, I don't, I don't know, but you know, it could just be like, Hey, look, like I only have so much fight in me, mm -hmm. right? Like I, I, I don't have enough to fight all these fronts. Right. So I'm going to fight this piece, this other piece, I'm just going to let it go. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if you ever, if you ever felt that. I mean, I guess, you know, as far as the black piece, mm -hmm. it's not like it was, you know, back when he had experienced that. Right. right. Like, yeah. Like, so I don't know if you ever had that feeling of having to fight two different battles, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I, I, you know, growing up, I remember hearing, um, I think even one of my dad's good friends said uh, that, um, that uh, being gay was nothing like being, you know, black, <clears throat> excuse me, because uh, like gay people can, if you're gay, then you can hide it or you don't have to act like it, right? So already there's like a million things wrong with that thought process anyway, you know, um, because you're not trying to like, if you like, you know, you were talking about uh, black people who could go passing, right? So he's obviously talking about people who look what they would consider black, right? But what about those who don't look black, you know, but um, are still in, you know, they can hide it, basically. You know, so is it less important for them? Or are you really just talking about the people who absolutely can't hide it? Like the gay people who actually absolutely cannot hide it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like there's, there's just a, there's just a number of problems with that. So they, uh, when I was growing up, I remember people did not want to compare the two struggles. They didn't, they refused to compare it. Cause like, well, we went through, uh, you know, slavery and all this other stuff. And I'm like, yeah, we are still killed, you know, all around the globe. Right. So black people aren't for the most part, except for in Africa where sometimes police, but we won't get there. Well, true too. True. <laughs> but, but gay people all, you know, worldwide are just, you know, and, and they have lost that favorite. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's, I feel like it's not one of those situations where people should be like, oh, this is our struggle. This is their struggle. No, nah, it's the same. It's a struggle. It's just different. It's just, it's, it's the struggle, you know, sort of thing. And so there's, there should not be any. Um, this is they, them, this is us sort of thing. It should be a combination of the two, in my opinion, you know. Um, but also to your question of like, if I ever felt that way, no, I felt, I did feel like I needed to um, support the black community and the gay community, right? Uh, the thing about the black community is in much to my dismay is not very active right in trying to improve itself right um this black lives matter thing didn't really start off until i actually i got out of the you know the um, the us at least i didn't know about it until after i left the us so you know and it's still even now it's like it's not really i guess a thing like it there was a huge you know uproar and then it just kind of died down. Now it's just a name. Like people know what it is, but it's not really, it doesn't seem to really be doing anything basically is what I'm saying. Who's Tim Laughlin? A friend of your father's, why? You've been mm. quiet ever since he called and I've never seen you drink in the daytime. I guess I've picked up some of your father's bad habits. Luckily deserting my family isn't one of them. Mom, no. a long time just... ago, Jackson uh, mentioned uh, him uh. again. Oh, there you go. Your dose of man butt. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's just, you know, that's how you know you're not being honest Where with yourself. You? Yep. Because you're not here. So much. We don't have to keep missing it. This is interesting because we know that in the present present, He's back with her. Right. I'm seeing someone. Yeah. L let me tell you right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with someone, and they're like, oh, my ex just you know, wrote me. They want me to come to this sex island, so I'll be right back. <laughs> don't come back. What do you, what? 
<laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, I like said that. some candlelight dinner by themselves drinking wine. Oh, by the way, I'm with someone. Oh, I can't get out of here. But he said it was new too, so like it's not like. But, like if if it matters, mm-hmm. then it matters. If not, then what'd you mention it for? Well, you know because I mean? like, he's I, trying. He's not trying to lead him on, right? I'm assuming. But like at the same time, I'm not one of those type of people who are very. I'm, I don't feel constrained by social kind of. Um, I know you're a modern man. Yeah. Is it modern? Like I don't <laughs> even feel modern is the word. Like I feel like, I feel like I'm just very much more about being uh, about relationships, personal relationships, rather than like putting a label on. You know, if you're boyfriend or you know if you're married or if you're exclusive or whatever the situation is, it's just a very personal feeling so yeah so i mean uh also he seems to just hold this light for hawk you know i i can't imagine most (laughs) yeah i mean i think most things are it's kind of like when you think about getting that new car or that new house or whatever like it's Mm -hmm. always for some, (laughs) some degree it's always better in the thinking about it Versus once you have it. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Once you have the thing, mm-hmm. after a little bit, it's like, oh, this is this this is now normal. Right, yeah. Right? It's not like looking forward to it anymore. It's like, oh, now I have it. Okay, this this is – you get very used to it. Yeah. It's like uh, you get real high, and then it's like, okay, now I'm used to – now I'm used to it again. And yeah. now it doesn't hold the same – But that's the problem with the brain, right? Is yeah. Because it does that. It It tries to kind of – put everything into an equilibrium sort of thing, right? So you're not constantly enthralled, but you're also not constantly uh, stressed, even though you can consistently live in stress and then feel like that's a norm, you know, sort of thing. So Yeah. Yeah, and kind of chasing that feeling is what leads to a lot of... Addictions. Addictions and things, right? Like chasing that that same thing, which is just not sustainable at that that level. Right, yeah. Uh, I, I I'm I have a, I'm curious how you feel. Do you think? So I'm starting to have a certain idea about this show. But do you think that that this can have a happy ending? I don't think it can have a happy ending now. Like I mean, a happy ending now. I mean, we already know basically what's going to. What do you? What do you? What do you suppose? I, I guess it really depends on what you mean by a happy ending. Because well, I guess I was hoping that like like. D- yeah, I guess what, what what would you consider? And I don't mean happy ending like happy ending in this circumstance. Like I mean something you consider like, oh man, like this ended and I felt good. Like I feel good at the end of this. What would I need to have happened for that to happen? Um. I guess the only thing that I could see that would make me semi happy and it's just semi happy because I'm pretty sure Tim is going to die mm-hmm. or going to be on his deathbed, which he basically already is. Um, I think the thing that I would need is for <sighs> as hard as it's going to be for Hawkins to break up with his wife, you know, and accept who he is, basically. Not necessarily get together with Tim, because I don't think that that is a... I mean, maybe Tim will need it for, you know, as he's dying or something like that, you know. But at this point, 20, 30 plus years down the line, you know, I don't think... I don't think it would actually make much of a difference. You know? Right. So if if Tim were to die and Hawk, because of that, comes to accept himself and go live his truth mm-hmm. and leave his family. Or maybe that... even before uh, Tim dies, you know, so at least he can be by his side without feeling as much guilt as he, you know, as, he's, as he passes, maybe, you know. So but... Hawk, Hawk by Tim's side would make you happy? No. Hawk getting, you know, <laughs> leaving his wife, letting her live her own life, 
you know, because the thing is letting her live her own life and then him living his own life. Like basically what they say, living in the truth. Speaking of which, I saw some um, post. I was going to call it stupid. It's stupid post. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I saw some post where it was just like Jesus said, or Jesus didn't say, rather Jesus said. And one of those things that was on it was, live your own truth it was like jesus didn't say live your truth uh he said i am the truth the way the truth and the life or something like that and i was just like shut the f up <laughs> sorry i just had a visceral reaction to that I was like <laughs> shut up like the two aren't mutually exclusive like just because just because jesus didn't say just because it's not in the bible doesn't mean it's not true like you know like what the hell is wrong with you people like anyway yeah. sorry let me move on like that's not where i want to be to here go. another hour yeah because okay but anyways yeah like i would like for him to be able to accept and live the truth uh okay hold on the, the truth for him sorry two seconds speaking of taking things <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's it's so funny because uh, I'm constantly trying to figure out a way to segue that makes no sense. So, quick side note: I, I, I listen to this podcast called Smartless, and all the time they're trying to think of a way because at the end of it they say "bye." They try okay. to they try, they try to think of some pun to say to 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 weave the "bye" in at the end. Okay. They're like a bicycle, and they end it right. And so oh, someone's like, always on the okay. show trying to figure out a way to squeeze in the buy and right, th that's okay. how i am with this trying to figure out some <laughs> dumb segue to say <laughs> thank you to our patrons at yes, patreon.com slash unofficially opinionated yeah, yeah. Um, we love you appreciate all of your support especially our visionary level supporters babs kate and abby, abby. thank you so much he doesn't judge me i don't you are nothing but judgment you always were. You need some Saint judgment. Tim the fucking holy. Where are you going now? The meat rack? We locals call it the rack. You're not, I'm not this uh, boy scout that you think I am. I thought he was leaving. He should have left. Dang I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Take a seat. I'll try. <clears throat> Home center. Open door. You think he's going to get to talk to uh, Frankie? Yeah, probably. What are you doing here? I came to walk you home. I'm going downtown with everybody else. There are cops all over the place. You are a big chocolate gay man. Hmm. Make them. Everyone is meeting up at the elephant walk later. Don't do it. Come on. Don't do it. Don't do it. Why is it that every episode now feels like the last episode? Yep. All right, folks. Well, that's our ending of episode seven, Hannah Downer. But uh, yeah, more to come. Yes. Thanks for watching, as always. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends, leave us a comment. Yep. And we'll see you guys on the review. Right. Ciao. Later.